Hey, what's up everybody? This is Dom and today we are getting into some really cool home automation tricks using Android Wear. Now I've actually set up the LG G Watch, Android Wear, and Google Now to control various things around my house simply by raising my wrist and saying a command. So it's pretty cool stuff and I've actually gotten it to work with my Hue lights, which you can see behind me, the Nest thermostat that I have, a couple of Belkin Wemo switches, and even perform tasks on my Mac Pro or MacBook Pro just by, again, raising my wrist and saying a command. And I'm gonna kinda lay out the groundwork here to get you going with it, but if you'd like to see some more in-depth tutorials on this, I'll link some videos down below. I wanna give a big shout out to Armando Ferreira, which actually, he put up a video a couple of days ago that really sparked my interest in getting all of this to work together here in my house. Now, the first thing you probably wanna have is an Android Wear device, though this is not required because everything you can do on your Android Wear device, you can do on an Android smartphone. Smartphone. Basically what it does is when you have the Google Now prompt on your Android Wear smartwatch, that just passes the information along to your phone and then sends it out to the internet. Now next up, you're gonna wanna make sure that your Android device is rooted. Now I'm using a Galaxy S5 and I used Towel Root to achieve root on this device. And so that is going to be a crucial step in this process, but I'm not gonna go in depth in rooting your Android device as there are various methods for all kinds of different Android devices out there. Now next up, you're gonna need the exposed framework. And I will leave links to all this stuff down below in the description for you but you're gonna have to install that along with the Google Search API plugin for the exposed framework. And you're going to need Tasker, which is an app available in the Play Store, as well as Auto Voice, which is a plugin for Tasker. And finally, you need Auto Hue if you're going to be controlling Hue light bulbs. And again, that's available in the Play Store as well. So let me go ahead and explain this here real quick for you. The reason that we need root is so that we can install the exposed framework. And the reason that we install the exposed framework is so that that we can install the Google Search API plugin for the exposed framework, which allows us to tap into the Google Search and Google Now capabilities on your device. Next up, we have Tasker and Auto Voice for Tasker. And what those two are doing is Auto Voice for Tasker actually has a plugin for the Google Search API plugin for the exposed framework. I know this seems like a huge circle here, but trust me, it all works together. What's happening is when I raise my wrist and say command into Google Now, the Auto Voice plugin for the Google Search API is actually recognizing certain strings that I've set up prior to this video and prior to using the automation. And then it takes that information and sends it to Tasker, which performs various actions based on different tasks that I have set up inside of the app. So what I wanted to do first was actually set up my Nest thermostat to work alongside my Android Wear device and my Galaxy S5. And all I have to do now is raise my wrist and say, okay, Google, it's hot. That information will then be transmitted all the way to my Nest thermostat and change the temperature in my house. And the same thing works if I were to say it's cold or turn down the temperature. And I have all of this set up within Tasker on my device. So let me explain how all of that works. So what it's doing here is it's grabbing the phrase, it's hot, then it's sending it to Tasker. And then Tasker is actually sending a text message to IFTTT. And then IFTTT is changing the temperature on my thermostat. And all this happens within a matter of seconds. As I mentioned before, I do have some Belkin Wemo switches that I also have implemented to work with my Android Wear smartwatch and Google Now and stuff like that. It's using IFTTT because like Nest Thermostat, the Belkin Wemo switches have full integration on IFTTT, which makes things a lot easier in the long run. If I raise my wrist and say, okay, Google, no more music. What that's going to do is it's actually going to send a text message to IFTTT with the hashtag speakers off, and then that is going to trigger my Belkin Wemo switch to turn off the speakers behind me. So it's pretty useful in a lot of situations, and I've even had it set up to work alongside my Mac Pro and MacBook Pro and Combining all of this within one task means that I can walk into my office and say something like, okay, Google, put office to sleep or you know sleep office or whatever you wanna set up the command for, but I can turn off everything in one go just by raising my wrist and talking to my watch. So it really makes the process very simple and very streamlined once you get everything set up. So to top everything off, I actually have the ability to control my Mac Pro and MacBook Pro using simple commands on my watch or in Google Now on my Android device. Now what I'm doing here is when I say, okay Google, put my Mac to sleep, 
What's happening here is it's taking that command from my mouth, putting it into Google Now, and then that's being intercepted by Auto Voice, which puts it into Tasker and initiates the task based on the voice command. So in this instance, what's happening is that voice command triggers a text message being sent to IFTTT with the hashtag sleep. And what that is doing is actually telling Dropbox to create a file with a very specific name in my Dropbox folder on my computers. Now from there, I have an application called Hazel on my computer, which monitors my Dropbox folder for changes. Once it notices a file with the specified change, it will initiate actions based on rules that I have previously set up. And from there, it launches an automator workflow, which then tells my displays to go to sleep or launch an iTunes song or open an application. Pretty much anything you can think of is possible with Automator. And that's what makes it so cool. And if you haven't heard of Automator before, I'll be sure to link it down below in the description. But Automator basically uh, creates macros on your Mac. So you can pretty much have it do anything you want. And I know I didn't go over every single detail I mentioned in this video, but I wanted to give you guys an overview on how I have my automation set up with Android Wear and all of the different devices around my house so that maybe you can take that information and make it better or use it for yourself. And I will be sure to link some video tutorials for Tasker down below that were created by Armando Ferreira and they are pretty good and they will teach you pretty much everything you need to know about using Tasker if you are unfamiliar with it. Again, all the links that you need are going to be down below in the description so go ahead and check that out and be sure to leave this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it as it does help out the channel a lot. Thanks again for watching everybody. This is Dom and have a great day. Wow.